Hey there everybody, my name is Ryan. You might know me from the projects Electricado or Ryanosaurus. And uh, what I'm going to show you in this little video is just how to make a real simple Psytrance baseline. So as you can see, we've already got our kick and bass, um, well the kick's already lined up and the bass MIDI program is already there. So all I've got to do here is whack on the silent into that channel. And when we bring up silence for the first time, it um, starts us up with some stupid preset. So we're going to want to get a bank for and then just select a blank initialize patch. So um, that gives us nothing but a saw wave, as you can see, the saw wave is selected, so we'll keep it on that. And um, if I hit play here, this is what we're going to get. Just a raw saw wave, not really doing much that sounds good. So uh, what I'm going to want to do now is use this filter to, um, to modulate, uh, to, to sort of shape the sound into how we want it. So I'll take this mod envelope, click on it, Send the uh, the cutoff A, which is this filter here, the cutoff of this filter, turn it all the way up. So now this envelope is modulating this cutoff. So if I turn this cutoff all the way down, we're going to get no sound. Well, actually, you need to make sure you actually turn the filter on, so make it a low pass. So um, here we go. Hit play. No baseline sound, but it actually is doing stuff. It's just filtered all the way out. So what I'm going to want to do here is slowly turn up the decay until you start to hear the sound come through and just basically tweak the sort of sound you want. We'll add a little bit of sustain there. And um, I like to use the drive on this filter. It can give it a lot of sort of body and warmth. Baselines, um, layering up a, another sine wave sub just an octave down can give you that, that drive that you need that you might have sort of missed out if you're using high baselines and you feel those sections that are missing. So, yeah, I can't really judge this because I'm only on headphones at the moment. But um, yeah, there we go, that's just your basic side trans baseline plugging along. What I might want to do now is drop a compressor on top of that bass channel. And we're going to want to sidechain the kick to the bass. So basically what that's going to do is, um, you can see what I'm doing here. I've opened up the compressor and turned on the sidechain audio input from one audio, which is the kick up here. So this audio from this kick is being sent to this compressor. As you can see here, this, this meter here is the kick. So as we turn the threshold down, you can see the gain reduction here start to go up, which is how much the bass line is being turned down every time that kick fires. So I'll play with the ratio a bit more. These are settings you need to tweak individually for your sound. But um, I'd say about there for me, somewhere about six. I'm just being very quick and easy with this. But um, there we go, that's pretty much what that's doing. It stops your, your bass line and kicks um, bass frequencies from interfering and clogging up and being weird and messy. And it can also give your tune a nice pulse between the bass line and the kick, which is um, yeah, which is something that that's an effect you quite often want to do in Psytrance, I think. But um, yeah, that's the basics of it. Sick kick side baseline, really easy to do like that. And um, yeah, if you want to check out some more tutorials or tunes, go to electricardo.com or mrbillstunes.com. And um, yeah, go nuts. Cheers, guys.